everything we talk about on this program multiple times every day. Focus on, gu on the gut health. Eliminate problem foods. Use fermented foods. Use probiotics. You, uh, restrict your intake of sugar and chlorine and antibiotic-laden foods and fluoride, uh, fluoridated water as well as chlorinated water. There's many, many strategies here. Uh, secondly, make sure you're relaxing the body. Your body recovers under conditions of relaxation. If you're dealing with chronic fatigue issues, chances are really good. It's almost 100% certainty. You're in sympathetic overdrive. That is, your body is in major distress. So calming the body down is important. Using relaxation techniques, all the ones we talk about on this program all the time. So. Yes, your point is well taken, and I understand that, that I don't know that for a fact, but I certainly don't find it hard to believe. It seems logical to me that that could happen. But where we can work is with our voluntary choices, and that involves ben. food, nutritional supplementation, and especially when it comes to gut health. Yes, sir, go ahead. Ben, uh, Professor Don Scott spoke before our Congress back in the late 90s and exposed all of this, too. Uh, the reason I'm bringing it up is because doctors cannot uh, find this uh, through their basic blood tests in the system because the body does not, it's a, it's a stealth pathogen. And Very likely, but that doesn't matter either, John. See, John, I'm here on this program to try to help people. As far as helping people, that doesn't matter. It's interesting, and you know, as a, as a student of history myself, I follow these things, but from a healing perspective, you don't want to go off on that tangent. It's just, not to mention the fact that it's going to put more stress in your life and shut down your, your parasympathetic and make you more, uh, stre uh, turn on stress chemistry even more significantly. Because Follow he me? does state in, in their articles on the mycoplasma that everyone is carrying it, but the diet, of course, kefir and sauerkraut, I'm having yes, that sir. right now. Yes, sauerkraut. And, Love and, it. And, Bentonite clay, and, even, to and help I made chelate some of and. Um, uh, it's not hard to do, folks. Uh, just make sure if, if you, it's organic, put it in mason jars and let it sit for nine or ten days. Keep it wet, and it's just wonderful. It's, isn't it wonderful and delicious, too? Oh, my God, crunchy and delicious. Don't cook it. Just eat it like coleslaw. Yeah. Good deal. Thank you so much, John. Have a beautiful day, buddy. Thank you. you. God bless. Oh, God bless you, my friend. All right, let's go to Karen in California. What's up? Karen. Hello. Hello, hey, Karen. Hey. What's, hey, what's going on, Karen? Hey, Storm, Mrs. Dan. It's good to speak with you. I have my Thank friend, um, Gwendolyn, um, on a three-way call. She's in okay. St. Louis. I'm in Cali. Okay. And, hi, um, Gwendolyn. Hi. Hi, Dr. Ben. What's going on? How can we help you? Okay. I've been on the three-day survey. Uh, Swear V cleanse? Yes. Okay. And so I haven't, I don't know what I'm supposed to be anticipating or looking for, but I haven't had a lot of uh, bowel movement or anything like that. I've been real fatigued. I'm tired. Good. But, That's uh, just rest, just lighten, you know, t stay in bed, kind of relax, take a three-day vacation. Did you say you didn't have a bowel movement after three days? Well, I haven't had a lot. So are you are you ordinarily do you are you ordinarily constipated? Um, most of the time, I take something to keep me flowing. So okay, but otherwise you would be constip. Otherwise you'd be constipated. Right, if I was okay. going all the time. Okay, you're still, your, your digestive system is still traumatized. Constipation is a sign of a traumatized digestive system. It's just like frozen. It doesn't do anything. It's like a deer in the headlights. It's sho in shock. And you're, so if you've been chronically in this mode of, uh, of, of, of having this shocked digestive tract or shocked colon where the wrong food has been getting in, it's been getting inflamed and irritated, it may take more than three days for you to, to have a bowel movement. Here's what you want to do, and this will help. Go get a coffee grinder. It costs you 15 bucks or so. If you don't already have one, get a new one. And then get uh, gold, golden organic flax seeds and then grind up, say, maybe four tablespoons of them Mix it up with water and drink it down and maybe do it twice a day, okay? And uh, the flax seeds will take a few days to pass through your digestive tract and get into your colon, so you won't, maybe, maybe another day or two before you have a bowel movement. But if you do it twice a day for a couple of days, like four doses, guaranteed you're going to have a big bowel movement. Like, it might, it, it'll be a big one, put it that way, with all the flax seeds, okay? And also, by the way, if you're using longevity products, the rainforest product, sometimes that acts as a laxative. But I like the flax. I like the flaxseed technique because then you're getting lots of good oils. You're getting vitamin E. You're getting protein in addition to being a great laxative or stool softener, Not actually. Yes, sir. Pharmacy. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. She had um, the real bad um, digestive issues on yeah. five different medications. The rest. Oh the well, you didn't tell me that you're on medication. That's going to clog you up too, sweetheart. Gwendolyn. Right. What do you uh -huh. want? Do you know the names of the medication? 
Okay, I'm on the land ten. Okay. I'm on. Uh, I'm on. Um, oh, I'm on. Uh, Trama. Uh, Tramadol. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, hey, well, listen, Gwendolyn, Gwendolyn, and Karen. You guys, listen. This is more more than we can do on a phone call here in the radio. I'm glad to help you. Send me an email, Ben at ksco.com, and put your phone number there. And then put in the subject, hey, we talked on the radio. It's way too much inf uh, It's way too much stuff. you got a lot going on there, especially with the drugs. All right? But do the fiber thing anyway. That, that'll help you. And send me an email, and I'll call you in the next day or two, okay? One, one quick question. On, yes. So tomorrow is her, today's her third day on the store of these. Yes. What should she be doing tomorrow? Cause tomorrow when she starts eating again? Yeah. What vegetable do do? juice. What vegetable juice. Get a Vitamix, make veggie juice, celery juice, celery, uh, uh, maybe some uh, cucumber in there. I like a little slice of tomato, but some people have problems with tomatoes, so you have to see. Make vegetable juice, and then gradually start going into solid food. Do vegetable juice as long as you can. It's incredibly filling. Between the fiber and the vegetable juice, you'll be full. Okay? okay? And then awesome. gr gradually go into solid food. But I, I, you got too much going on. I'd love to talk to you, but I got too much going on for the radio, okay? Right, so send me, right. Thank send me you so much. Take care, guys. Bye bye. Okay. All right, uh, Carl, the Truth Raider, you get the last word. You got about a minute. <laughs> okay, Ben. Uh, good morning. Good it morning. Like that gentleman that was talking to you in the previous call is listening to too much of Alex, I guess. <laughs> Does Alex talk about that? Is well, Alex... he, he gets people going and get that parasympathetic nervous system going and gets people yeah, worried. <laughs> you don't want the sympath that sympathetic nervous system. That the fear thing, man. You got to be careful. Of the fear. It's so easy. The world is set up for us to be afraid, to get afraid very easily. It wants Absolutely. us afraid with viruses and with terrorists and with economic <laughs> collapse and all the different ways. You know. Right. Have you ever on the news? Is every single story on the news is about right. fear, right? It's to cause dis-ease. Dis-ease. Dis yes. Carl, you're getting this down, man. You <laughs> nailed it. Good job. Truth wanna, What's I going on? So, want to be your co-broadcaster there with you. <laughs> All right. What's anyway, going on? How can, genetically how can I help modif you? genetically modified corn. Yeah. I think it's getting a bit of a bad rap. Okay, so let's hear propaganda, it. There's fear of propaganda over it. What basically corn does, folks, is acts as a scrubber to the, to the digestive system. If you eat corn, unless you're eating it in a cornmeal form, a genetically modified cornmeal, then there's, there's the possibility of absorbing those genetically modified toxins. But if you just eat a, you know, a bowl of a canned corn, cream corn, mix it up with some peppers and stuff, it, it's virtually harmless. It goes straight Carl, through. Carl, that's, that's it. I, I'm out of time, buddy. I, right. wish I, could, I appreciate the point. Thanks, Carl. Have a beautiful day, man. All right, that's all the time we have for today. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have an awesome, wonderful, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later, folks. Bye for now.